So I really want to go get a puppy today because um, I've been lonely and, you know, whatever. But my roommate would kill me, so I think I'm just going to go buy a plant. But I'll probably kill it, so wish me luck. What's happening y'all? My name is Jake. I make lifestyle videos and vlogs and today I'm just gonna take you guys with me. I just got over COVID and not just but you know within the past few weeks and so I'm kind of like just easing back into life and I'm gonna go get my car washed. I want to go get a plant and I need to go work out so come along with me and we're gonna have some fun. So I just got to the gym. Um, I'm going to put this down. I'm not taking anything in with me. I try to uh, not touch anything. Uh, my gym does require a face mask and they take your temperature. Um, a lot of people are like, do you feel comfortable going? And I think, like I've said before, it's just like mitigating your risk. And uh, I feel safe there, as safe as I possibly can be. I feel safer there than I do going to a grocery store because I wipe everything down prior and after and I'm not touching anything and I'm wearing a mask but I mean some people they don't feel comfortable and that's fine uh, but I don't think I don't know I, th I think it's a weird time to, to even say that you're going anywhere you know I don't know I don't know I don't know how I feel about the subject but I'm gonna try to be in and out real quick and have a good pump in but first, let me get this dry scoop in. For all of you guys that don't know what this is, this is just pre-workout and uh, I do it all the time on Instagram. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> I would get my car washed and then it would rain. It rains every day in Florida, but like I thought I would have like at least two to three hours. Nope. So I just got home and I went to the heavy. I will put this card in the description below as well as a screenshot above so you can get their information. But it's in Winter Park, which is like just north of downtown Indianapolis. And downtown Indianapolis, where am I? I'm in Orlando. Ah! It is just north of downtown Orlando. And I went and I got a little succulent for my room, so I thought we could open this together. It's a lot smaller than a puppy, but you know, I guess it'll do. Isn't that cool? Like, ah, uh, and it came with this little stand. So I think I'm going to put it, hmm. I had a little snake plant by my TV and it it didn't make it so um, let me figure out where to put it but isn't that such a cute little plant yeah I highly recommend the heavy <laughs> So I made air fried buffalo chicken tenders and we're gonna see how they're turning out. Ooh, yummy. So I put them in for 24 minutes and they have six minutes left. I flipped them every six minutes. I guess you could flip them every 12 minutes, so halfway through, but I just like wanna want make sure that they're super crispy, but I took this little tiny piece out Ew! 
No, he definitely spit. Yeah. These are so good. Um, I put garlic salt, no, garlic powder, baking powder, um, some of the Frank's like hot sauce, but it's the powder, and then a, a little bit of uh, dobo. I know we're not supposed to use Goya products. Uh, I bought it a long time ago, so I'm still using it, but I'm not buying any more of it. But so that's the, the little mix that I put in. You spray it with the olive oil and you just coat it with the seasoning and you put it in the air fryer and it's pretty healthy. It's uh, still crispy and it tastes like a chicken tender. So I just showered, um, I ate, I watched a little bit of TV, and um, now I'm going to set my alarm for 30 minutes. I've been doing this thing where I try to set my alarm for 30 minutes so I can just read, uh, stimulate my mind, and I just started reading a book that I had bought about three years ago, and I have not picked it up because I kind of just bought it out of support of the author and not so much the content of it. And now I'm forcing myself to read it and that is this lovely book right here, What Happened by Hillary Rodham Clinton. Um, it gives me a little bit more of a perspective into life before this shit show that we're living now. Um, so I'm gonna continue to read this book. Uh, with that, make sure that you're registered to vote. Um, I'm going to, I try to write down a list of things that I need to accomplish for the next day so that I have a clear idea of what my day is going to be like or I can structure it. Um, and yeah, so I, I think that's pretty much, this is the first vlog, like full day that I've done. So let me know in the comments if you like this. Uh, let me know what you want to see more of, um, things that you like. Uh, I've been really excited to meet some of you guys virtually and talk to you guys it's it's a weird time to be talking or meeting anyone but this has been such a great outlet for me so i appreciate the love that you have given me in the comments and the feedback that you've already given me if you don't already follow me please follow me on instagram tiktok and twitter also uh check out my other videos the other series that i've done and let me know what you like and what you don't like. Please remember to be safe. Thank our essential workers working so hard for us right now. And always remember, there is nothing to prove, only something to share. I'll see you guys in the next one.